Barbecue Model Shop with another Throwback Thursday. This time the F14A Tomcat. Um, this guys was a interesting build for us here. Um, this was the first build that we started and completed down here in the Northview Model Shop, and this was, I believe, one of the first builds, if not the first build, that we did with our YouTube channel here. Um, profiled this quite, uh, quite thorough. Um, some first here for us again with this one. Um, we did this. Uh, we did this plane or this jet. Be um, our first jet in the shop. Um, what we did too is we followed a few techniques that we learned on the interweb. Uh, took the old sharp number two uh, lead pencil and outlined all of the mold lines or all the panel lines, uh, which was a first for us. We also took a homemade wash. We washed and wiped down the whole thing, kind of giving this dirty, grimy kind of look. Um, our thoughts with this when we did this build was solely to build a um, an F14 that would have been the trainer, you know, one of the first ones to come off of the uh, assembly line and for testing. So there was no bombs, no no missiles, no jets, or no uh, no uh, what do you call those? Or APMs, or whatever the hell they're called. Um, this was neat. That it was actually functional. This really neat kit. It's kind of like a, a gearing system inside allows these to uh, to work and fold. So we followed that along perfectly. And it was a neat thing. We were smart. Was when we built this, we knew we might someday. You know, we might get to the point where we might do model shows. So I did not glue the upright uh, horizontal stabilizers in there, so we could uh, take it apart and move it. What um, what we were most proud of here, and I don't know, hopefully we'll get this in the camera, but uh, oh, pull this out, is we spent a lot of time in the cockpit, and mostly is we've consulted Google, and hopefully we can get these into frame here, is we went through and looked up the injector seat, this Asus 2 injector seat, and followed, and hopefully we got that, with the magnifying glass and added in all the details that we could with the abilities that we had and uh oh almost dropped her and these were kind of the crown jewels actually for the longest time i stopped building the model and just sat there looking at these seats i thought i did a really good job um to this day i still kind of feel like i did a good job on them and uh, i've yet to do anything as nice so we were pretty proud of that um picked out detailing on the in the the uh, the the quarters here at the cockpit. We did some masking. I mean, once again, this was one of the first ones we were doing. So there's some paint runs, and and this was all done with um, with uh, testers uh, spray cans. Uh, the decals. Once again, these decals are really nice again, but there's some bleed through. You can see some of the. Uh, well, there's a yellow strip. The yellow decal goes here, and then you install the American uh, Air Force insignia here. You can see the bleed through of the yellow there. We had no idea what decal set was, so some of the decals aren't that great, especially up in here. But all in all, guys, we were really happy and really pre pleased with this uh, with this F-14. Turned out good. We've uh, had fun. We've taken it to a couple shows. You know, we've done modestly well, and and to be expected, it was, you know, it did as well as I was expecting at the mall show. You know, we did some third places and stuff like that, which is perfectly fine. We're more than happy with that. Um, once again, um, building the jet, I really wasn't grooving the jets. I was never a big fan of these. I think they always look just kind of, you know, whatever. They're just plain and boring. I never was too keen on these F-14s, but they do have their place in history, so that's why they were important to, to us and to do one. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this Throwback Thursday, and uh, thank you.